By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to get TikTok famous in less than 10 minutes. This is the same exact strategy that Devin R. Rodriguez used to gain over 14 million followers, Joel Magician over 8.9 million followers, Jerry Patel over 3 million followers, Carnival over 3 million followers, and Krista Allen over 1.4 million followers. And every single TikToker that has blown up on this app that has gotten any kind of fame on TikTok, they all did the same exact strategy. So please, make sure you stick around for the end of the video because I'm also gonna be sharing with you the best niche in order to go viral right now, the best niche if you wanna become TikTok famous right now. Now no, I'm not saying you have to be in this niche, but I will be sharing with you the niche that is the easiest in order to get TikTok famous. And trust me, it's probably not something you would've guessed. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Robert Benjamin, I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok. I make videos about the algorithm, how to go viral, the best time to post, and so much more. Please, if you have a question about anything throughout this entire video, leave a comment below. I answer every single comment that I get on YouTube, so please make sure you smash that subscribe button, and best of all, text me. Here's my phone number, I answer almost every single text that I get and I want to talk to you. First and foremost, if you want to get famous on TikTok, you need to be following a six-step checklist every single time that you post. No Timmy, no Karen. I'm not saying every once in a while or when you feel like it, every single time you post, you need to be following this checklist. Here it is. First, your post either has to be based on a viral piece of content or it's got to be a duet or a stitch of a viral piece of content. If it does not match that criteria, you should not post it. Secondly, it's got to be posted at the best time for you to post on TikTok for your specific account. And if you go watch my latest TikTok, algorithm video it will tell you how you can find out what time that is but I'll link out to that at the end of the video don't focus on that right now just know that you need to be posting at the right time it can literally be the difference between you going viral and between you getting just a thousand views third you need to be using a trending sound in every single video that you make fourth your videos need to be something that is trending within your niche and this definitely pertains to the length of your video the length of your video is going to be one of the most important things for the latest algorithm and then the last two things every single video you post needs to have a hook if it doesn't have a hook nobody's going to sit there and watch it. It's not going to get the watch time you need. You're not going to get the views you want. And guess what? That means you don't become TikTok famous. And then finally, you need to be incentivizing people. There needs to be a call to action for people to click the plus sign in every single video. This could be in the description, the beginning of the video, the end of the video, but it works best if you do it in the last three seconds of the video. And it's got to be something compelling. It can't just be you telling them to click the plus sign. There has to be a reason that they're going to do that. What that's going to do, that's going to get them to follow you. It's going to increase your like to follower ratio because if your like to follower ratio is not at least 10%, then you will never become TikTok famous. So once you begin following that checklist, your job is not done yet. There are still several other things that you need to do if you wanna become famous on TikTok. For starters, you need to be posting five to six times a day. If you go look up any famous creator and scroll all the way down, they all posted five to six times a day. Why did they do this? They did this for three reasons. First, it increased the odds of them going viral. Secondly, they knew that if they posted once a day, they would only be able to relate to one type of person a day. If they posted twice a day, they'd be able to relate to two types of people. If they posted six times a day, they'd be able to relate to six types of people and it would increase the odds of them going viral and them actually finding their pillar piece of content. If you want to become TikTok famous, you need a pillar piece of content. Charlie had it, it was the Renegade. Addison Ray had it, it was also the Renegade. Devin Rodriguez Art has it, it's the videos that he does on these subway sketches and every single creator on TikTok that has gotten famous began with just one post. You heard that right, it began with one post and then what they did, they took that success and they ran with it. Most of you guys kill your momentum. The majority of small creators have a break. They have a video that does better than average. They have a video that goes viral, but then they kill their momentum. And the only thing that you're in control of on social media is how much content you put out. Now think about it. On YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, a lot of these algorithms aren't gonna push your stuff out if you post a lot. But TikTok is totally different and you guys should not spoil this opportunity. There's an app where you could get limited organic reach and you could post as much as you want. You guys need to be taking advantage of that. And that's exactly what you could do on TikTok. And the reason that you're not TikTok famous is because you haven't realized this yet. Now I know, there are unique situations. Gary Vee posts a ton, other people post a ton, but 99% of people's cases, those algorithms on those other platforms are not gonna favor it if you post a ton of content. But on TikTok, you can do that, and the organic reach is crazy on TikTok. Actually, it's higher than it's ever been if you get on the For You page. And again, you guys wanna post that much so that you can find your pillar piece of content. This could be a sound, this could be a post type, this could be a trend, and once it happens, you guys need to keep reposting it, you guys need to keep doing it. Again, guys, every big creator on TikTok got big by finding that piece of content, by finding that sound, by finding that trend, and then continuing to do it over and over again until it didn't work, and then they find the next one and continue to ride that wave. Again, so many of you guys catch a wave and then you guys don't take advantage of it. I want you to look at your content. Have you had a duet that did well? What was your next post? Probably not a duet. Why not? You killed the momentum.
momentum. Same thing with stitches. I'm sure you could go look at your page. If you've done a stitch before, find a stitch that did well, and your next post right after that probably was not a stitch. Why would you do that? You're killing the momentum. Again, the same thing with a trend or a sound. So many of you guys, and I see it, I see it hundreds of times a day when I look at small creators' accounts. They had something that went viral, and then their next post, they do the total opposite. The post after that, they do the total opposite, and then their views tank, their followers tank, and they killed their momentum. Guys, stop making this mistake. The creators that are seeing mega success on TikTok get that wave, and then they ride that wave for as long as possible. Small creators that don't grow on TikTok, that don't blow up on TikTok, that are never gonna become TikTok famous, it's because you guys are killing your momentum. Every single one of you guys watching this video, if you follow the blueprint that I gave you in the beginning, you follow that checklist, it is going to happen to you. You're gonna have a post take off, you're gonna have something go viral, you're gonna have something do better than average, and then it's your job to take advantage of that afterwards. Please make sure you do not throw that success away. Devin Rodriguez Art was in my mentorship program and literally went from 22,000 followers to 2 million followers in just 24 hours from a repost. Had he never reposted that, he'd probably still be under 100,000 followers, wouldn't have 14 million followers, would have never collaborated with Bell Porch, would have never gotten featured in CNN, Fox News, and so many other news outlets, and probably wouldn't have been named to TikTok's top 10 creator list. So please, do not miss your opportunity. And if you feel like you've already missed your opportunity, I do want to emphasize to you, every single time that you post on TikTok is a new opportunity. It doesn't matter what your posts have done in the past, it doesn't matter what they're going to do in the future, every single time you post is a new opportunity. And again, there's more organic reach on TikTok than there ever has been before. Please stop wasting your time, please stop not taking action, and please start taking TikTok seriously. There's organic reach right now, there's a ton of organic reach right now, but the only thing that's promised is that it's not going to last forever, so you need to take action now. I'm telling you, I missed out on Vine, I missed out on the beginning of YouTube, I missed out on Instagram, and I have regretted those things for my life up until TikTok came out. I do not want you guys to sit here, let this opportunity go by at the wayside, not take advantage of it, and not seriously take action now if this is what you want for your life. Because you are literally one post away from changing your life. Every single creator that has ever blown up on TikTok, it was one post that changed your life, and then what they did after that. The same exact thing is gonna happen to you, and I need you guys to get way more serious about it. As I promised, the best niche to go viral on, the best niche to get TikTok famous in right now is couples content and prank content. There is an endless appetite for that kind of content on TikTok. It always has a really good hook. It's really easy to get followers from. It's really easy to get a high amount of watch time from. TikTok has a huge audience for it, and it is the easiest niche to go viral in. That being said, I'm not saying that every single one of you guys should join that niche, but no matter what kind of content you make, you should start to mix that content into your content. If you want to make a page all about that, I strongly suggest you do it. That being said, if you're not getting the views, you're not getting the followers that you want to get on TikTok, you need a coach. Actors have coaches. Athletes have coaches. CEOs have coaches. And to be totally frank with you, the best social media influencers also have coaches. What do you think? They just come up with their own branding, with their own post ideas, with the own best time to post? No. 99.99% of them don't. They actually have a coach that they never talk about. And if you haven't gotten the results that you want on TikTok, it's because you need a coach too, which is exactly why I created my mentorship program, which guarantees that you're going to grow on TikTok. If you join and over the 30 days you do not grow, you're going to get your money back. No questions asked. Try getting your money back for anything else in this world. You won't be able to, but you'll be able to get your money back for this. I'm a TikTok consultant and I should not get paid unless you see success and that's exactly what I'm promising you. And I don't care what your background is, what your language is, what niche you're in, I guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. I have helped everybody. I've helped 14 year olds, I've helped 80 year old grandmas, and I can help you grow too. If you get in the mentorship program at the link in my description, here's how it's gonna work. First, you're gonna go through six steps to becoming a TikTok expert course. You're gonna send me some information. I'm gonna send you a personalized plan and then every 48 to 72 hours, I'm gonna follow up with you, tell you what changes to make to your content, critique your content, send you new content ideas, and make sure that you're staying up to date on the best practices to guarantee that you grow. And like I said, if you don't grow at the end of the 30 days, you're gonna get your money back, no questions asked. If that sounds interesting to you, sign up at the link in the description. I cannot wait to help you grow. If not, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and check out the videos that I'm about to put on the screen because YouTube thinks you should watch them next.